Hello everyone, in this video we will be learning the designing of multi-component distillation column. Uh, basically, the sh we will be learning the shortcut method for designing the multi-component distillation column, uh, which is FUG method. <coughs> so, uh, if any one of you knows about FUG method, FUG shortcut method is that we uh, categorize two of the components of all the components in the mixture uh, as a light key and a heavy key. S uh, consider an example in which we have the following components mixture and we want to separate benzene out of the mixture as th this is clearly not a, a binary mixture. So uh, what the uh, shortcut approach uh, does is that it separates one of the components from all the components in one column like uh, it won't be possible it uh, won't be designing a multi-component distillation column which will be simultaneously separating all the components but it will be separating only one component with uh, very high uh, which very high uh, concentration either from the top or the bottom so what this uh, approach does is that uh, let's say we have the following mixture and we want to separate it first of all we have to know basically just a minute let me open a file yes this one so uh, basically FUG method is used to design a multi-component distillation column and it is basically a combination of three equations f f means Fensky and Fensky equation determine the number of minimum stages required for a multi-component distillation similarly and uh, you can s i can elaborate the equation as well like it's the ratio of log of two parameters in denominator we have the relative volatility while in uh, well, on the above we have uh, uh, the mole fraction of two components, which is I and J. I is basically uh, light key, and J is basically the heavy key. I will explain these parameters later, but uh, let me uh, first briefly explain what uh, what these equations are. So we have seen the Fensky equation now let me open the underwood equation okay this is the inter underwood equation so basically underwood equation is a combination of two equations uh, this is the first one uh, as you can see that the it is saying that uh, we will solve for theta in this equation and uh, based upon the assumptions okay and this one is our second equation after uh, solving for theta as all of the parameters are known by us we will be calculating the minimum reflux for our multi-component distillation okay so we have seen two equations i will explain how to use uh, those equations and i will uh, also share this file as well although i don't have uh, permission but i will ask from the owner if he allows I will share it with you okay now the third equation is the Gilliland equation uh, I'm, uh, I will sorry it's basically um, I don't know how to pronounce it it's a Kirbride correlation and it is used uh, and it's used for the determination of feed feed stage basically like we calculate the ratio and after calculating the ratio we can uh, find the feed stage which is given okay uh, and uh, this method is also used as uh, you can see it's mentioned in uh, such as in Aspen high series it, uh, it's basically uh, used in the uh, shortcut distillation palette of uh, distillation uh, of distillation in Aspen high series those who have used Aspen high series know about it and I will also show you how to use it 
in s point five field and what result will we get if we solve manually and what result will we get uh, uh, when we solve using s point five field so let's say we have a component mixture of benzene toluene and xylene so basically xylene and ethyl benzene are c8 components so we are required to separate c667 and c8 components it will require us two distillation columns to separate them so uh, we have we know that we just have to use those three equations it's not that uh, rocket science behind understanding uh, and behind understanding them i will elaborate them briefly let's say we want to get 99% separation of each component first of all we will draw a table in which we will specify the composition of the feed we will uh, select a key component let's say we select the light component to be benzene and heavy component to be toluene uh, you should know that uh, light component is not necessarily the lightest uh, component it can be um, any component which we use which we choo we choose to uh, carry or separation based upon which and similarly there is another component phi which is named as heavy component it is uh, it is also not the heaviest component it can be any component which you which you choose but it is uh, of course heavier than the light key all other components are termed as non key components so uh, after selecting two components we will be carry out, carrying out our uh, calculations or also know that we can say that uh, we shall we can write that light component is basically uh, will be basically i in our calculations and heavy component is basically j in our calculations okay i am defining so it won't be difficult for you once you will go through the file okay uh, so what we do is first of all we de determine the minimum number of stages that are required to separate our component mixture okay so uh, w uh, what we have in this equation is minimum number of stages is equal to ratio of logs as i have explained later uh, xid b is basically the composition of light key that is desired in the uh, distillate let's say we want to get 99 percent separation of benzene in our first column so xid is basically um, 0 0.99 similarly what will be the uh, composition of heavy key which we desire in the uh, uh, displayed let's say it is one percent okay similarly uh, we can also mention the values of uh, com well, uh, light in in bottom and heavy key in bottom and uh, one term is there which is a uh, relative volatility so what is relative relative volatility ij means relative volatility of i with uh, light key with respect to heavy key uh, what does that mean uh, relative volatility of benzene or relative volatility of uh, toluene or the heavy key okay so uh, it's basically uh, um, if we take uh, their ratio it's basically equal to the ratio of vapor pressure of benzene over ratio vapor pressure of toluene so basically uh, relative volatility is equal to the ratio of vapor pressure and system pressure and uh, once we have uh, system pressure or overall uh, pressure on both uh, under both terms they both cancel out and we can have a correlation which is uh, equal to the ratio of vapor pressures of both keys okay so uh, if any one of you has used uh, has calculated th uh, those these values uh, i'm uh, uh, let me recall what was the equation uh, for determination of
I I guess it just slipped my mind what was the name of the equation which is generally used so you, you can see here it is determining okay let us open Wikipedia mm -hmm. Ah yes, it's basically calculated uh, through Untine equation. So it it has uh, you can find uh, the parameters of Untine equation of any species on Google. Like you can uh, there are several thermodynamics uh, website which will help you in getting the value of uh, these parameters after which you can calculate your vapor pressure. Okay, after you have calculated your vapor pressures, you can get your you can get your relative volatility and after uh, you uh, also know that these are based on certain temperature so you you will have to get those values on the system uh, temperature and after using the, uh, those values in your correlation you will be able to get your minimum number of stages uh, similarly we can uh, we have uh, as we have we know how to calculate the value of relative volatility we can uh, carry out the calculation of minimum reflux ratio so uh, uh, there, uh, as I sh uh, showed you earlier there are two equations uh, first we will solve this equation to get our uh, the value of theta so what it is doing is that uh, we have uh, choose a value like uh, what is the temperature based upon the temperature of your uh, feed you can select a feed condition Q would basically represent the feed condition same as the Q which is uh, plotted on uh, mole fractions of binary component in the tape thalia method component in my uh, so it's basically the same Q you can google how where, uh, how to find the value of feed condition okay after uh, I can also share the file with you if anyone will like I will share the file and similarly after uh, inputting the value of Q you can uh, calculate this theta and after you have got your theta you can put your put all the values in here and get the uh, uh, minimum reflux ratio okay a uh, minimum reflux basically uh, this summation terms uh, is a uh, term is indicating all uh, is, is sum, uh, indicating a summation so you don't uh, don't have to worry about anything uh, you see uh, we have x uh, x p composition and yes relative volatility of heavy key uh, basically with respect to heavy keys uh, are shown in here okay as heavy key is tolvin so relative volatility based upon tolvin for for tolvin will be one for others uh, like uh, we are dividing all by their partial pressure uh, vapor pressure uh, we will get these values and after getting like one two three four after getting six values we will add them all okay after getting all the seven values we will add them all to get this uh, summation term and uh, theta will be same in all those values xid will be uh, different basically it will be zero for these terms and okay and similarly after getting uh, these values we will get our minimum reflux ratio and I, as you know that we convert minimum reflux ratio in actual or required reflux ratio which as a rule of thumb is suggested in Stefan Hall and other uh, uh, guidebooks to be almost 1.2 times of minimum reflux ratio like 1.2 is an optimum value for uh, adjusting our reflux ratio so after we multiply we will get our uh, reflux ratio as well okay and uh, you as you know that we uh, above we calculated minimum number of stages so uh, we also have to convert that minimum number of stages into actual number of stages we also have an equ uh, equation for that you see there is nothing new in, in this equation we have uh, values of all these parameters after inputting this value we will get our uh, minimum number of stages to be or oh, actual number of stages to be almost 22 similarly we have another equation nothing is new in this 
rates equation as well bottom display rate and bottom rate we have this light key in bottom we have this heavy key in toluene in display and benzene in bottom and it is basically uh, toluene in the feed and it is basically uh, benzene in the feed okay after inputting value we will calculate our desired number of oh, feed location of multi component distillation column we also carried out uh, this calculation in fm uh, high series 8.8 and we got the following values like you see minimum number of trays it's saying is 10.5 actually is 20.15 in our case it was 22 and feed stage was uh, 11.33 in their case and while in our case it was almost 9.65 which is almost 10 so you can see that s1 is uh, the shortcut uh, pellet in uh, or the shortcut uh, distillation model in s1 high seas is based upon these three equations which i just elaborated Hope, uh, similarly we can uh, use a second component in which uh, second column you see in this column we have selected uh, as benzene has already been removed in the second column so in second column our light key will be the toluene and heavy key will be the xylene and so uh, we, we can carry out further a separation in our third column where uh, toluene will be the most concentrated uh, product of our distillate while all those heavy keys um, containing carbon 8 atoms will be uh, leaving through the bottom similarly we can also carry out a rigorous design in s1 high series which you can try yourself because all uh, the major values which are needed are already given by the shortcut method so wh what we do is that first of all we design a shortcut distillation column using fud method okay after we have carried out the calculations such as minimum number of trays actual number of trays minimum number of stages pressure condition and all those conditions we will be using a rigorous model so for the calculation of rigorous model you see uh, there is nothing i think there is nothing obtain for you see we will uh, input all the values which we got from there like we found that minimum number of stages was almost 20 let's say our feed uh, feed stage was 10 and after inputting all those values um, we will be able to design a rigorous uh, model in our s1 high seas okay the, you see also you enjoyed the video nothing uh, and please try uh, the s1 high seas part yourself if you remain enabled uh, to use s1 high seas let me know i will create accepted video uh, using s1 high seas for the design of rigorous distillation column but uh, i will suggest you uh, first of all carry out the calculation manually uh, like as i explained how to use those equations learn how to do use those equations after you have learned then move on to the s1 high seas part and try the rigorous uh, model later hope so you enjoyed the video and learned a lot uh, from this short video session and please don't uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you